In this episode of Unboxing with a Rocket Scientist, we're going to take a look at the J&H Aerospace Rocket Kit called the Swingshot RC Rocket Glider. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist's opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today you'll actually find out the inside information, so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and yes, I am a real rocket scientist. Today we're going to unbox a rocket called the Swingshot RC Rocket Glider, and this is from J&H Aerospace, and this is the first time that I'm looking at it. Um, so we're looking at this together, and let's open it up and see what's inside. So first let's pull out the bag, and all right, so first we have here are the instructions because I can see several pages and so um, so this is a high performance micro RC rocket glider and it uses 18 millimeter motors at Estes A83, B42, B62 and the C63. Um, you can also use the Quest motors of that are, are comparable. Um, this page is a parts list. Um, then we have a photo of all the parts. That's nice. And then we have um, templates for all the parts in case you break one and have to redo them. But what I don't see is instructions. So look in here. The instructions are going to be on a YouTube video. So we'll link to that here in this video so that you can see them. So looking at it from here, we're not seeing any instructions, so we're going to have to kind of go by what's in here. Uh, wow. So first we got some balsa wood sheets. And this one here is, wow, that's really thick. That's like a quarter inch balsa wood. Um, this looks like uh, part of the fuselage. Oh, this one is like really thin. It's okay. Um, it just separated. That's nice. I thought they're going to pop out really easy. And this one is, um, it looks to be 1 16th inch balsa wood. And this looks like the tail surfaces. And you can see that here is the flap. Um, and these are the wings. And this is 3 16th inch balsa wood. And you're going to have a cut line here probably to get that dihedral. Um, this is a graphite rod, and that looks like to be about an eighth inch diameter. That's going to be nice and strong. Um, taped. Oh, it's not taped. Um, here we have some music wire, and I don't, you cannot probably see this, but I can see on the very ends, um, they're already pre-bent. Um, so these are going to be probably the push rods for the RC servo. Now this piece right here, I am not sure. This is a uh, foam board. And what is the foam board used for? Uh, my guess is it's probably going to be used as um, something, as a building jig. So the fuselage, left to right wing plywood facing parts. So these are the plywood facing parts. Um, and if you notice that, that is the same shape as this one here. So these are probably going to be laminated to the outside of that balsa wood to stiffen it up. Um, that's a, it's an easy way to add a lot of strength. Um, there's other pieces in here as well. I have no idea what those are going to be for. No, uh, this piece right here, it's a square piece. That's probably going to be where the, um, the RC components is going to be installed. Now this kit, because it's RC, it requires, according to the front page, a two channel or greater um, micro brick, what, what they call, and that's this doesn't, is not included, but this is one that I had in my shop. And this is um, the control system for the glider. And these are sold on the internet and you can buy them online. 
Um, and this is a two channel. So these are little micro servos that move these little rods right here. And those that music wire, that music wire is gonna get attached to this. And so when those servos move, it's gonna push these, these are gonna be called push rods. Um, it's gonna push them back and forth and that's what's gonna move the, uh, the rudder and the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Um, and this also contains the receiver. So the only other thing that you're gonna need is a little battery. And this is a, you know, a little LiPo, 3.7 volt LiPo that you'll co connect to it. Um, but you do need also an RC transmitter that will talk to this. And this is a, you know, 2.3, 2.4 gigahertz, whatever that is, um, standard RC equipment. So you're gonna need that a transmitter um, in order to build this thing. Uh, so let's see what else we got in here. So that's that's nice. Um, this is some clay and that's gonna be used for balancing it. Um, and I like how he packages that, you know, keep it all nice and doesn't, uh, clay doesn't melt everywhere. This is another big piece of music wire that's pre-bent. Um, I, you know, just looking from the picture, I can't tell where it's going. Um, going to be interesting. So I wonder, oh, okay. Now I think the wings on this glider are going to pivot. So they're going to, they're going to swing back um, as the rocket goes up and then they're going to flip out. And then um, the aler aileron and the rudder will control, is it the aileron? It's the, the, the flap and the, uh, the rudder will control. It's just a two channel RC equipment. Oh boy, this right here, I have no idea what that is. Let's see from the instructions so I can figure out what this mesh is for. Uh, we have push rods, tail boom, ring, wing trigger, Kevlar cord, body tube. Here's the body tube and we have a balsa nose cone in there. I like that. But now the body tube looks like it has been cut with a knife, so that looks kind of rough, but we can clean that up with a little bit of sandpaper. The balsa nose cone looks pretty good. That's nice. Um, I guess this is going to be the hinge material. I like that. I wonder what that is. It's a mesh. Um, but it looks like it has a grain direction, so it's stronger in one direction than the other direction. So when you put it on, it's probably going to fold this way as a, as a flap. Um, inside of here, this bag. Okay, we have a Kevlar shock cord. Um, that's the Kevlar shock cord, this one right here. And this other one right here is a rubber band so that's stretchy. Um, and that's probably what's going to pull the wing forward. Um, this right here is probably going to be the, uh, the pivot point. That's my guess. I'm um, just kind of looking at it. And then we got a launch lug. And this is your standard one inch long launch lug. And then also we have this little pivot point right here. And I don't know how that's going to be put on, but I've seen him use these in other kits. Maybe this goes through there. Oh yeah, that goes through there. So that's probably going to be our pivot point. So just looking at the parts, I don't know how this goes together. Um, it looks pretty complex and I'm glad that he did videos. Um, on how to put this all together because without the videos, I think I'd be lost. But all the parts look to be pretty good, high quality. And some of these things are longer than what you need. And I like to see that. So if you make a mistake, there's still plenty left over that you can probably fix your mistakes. Um, the balsa looks nice. It's nice and light. It's good for uh, RC stuff. So this is the Swingshot RC rocket glider and RC uh, rocket glider means that it stays in one piece. So nothing's going to fall out. Um, at least 
that's what I interpret it as. So looking at the parts, I'm excited to build it um, because you know there's a lot of moving parts and when there's a lot of moving parts, that makes it a really interesting build. Um, but you are gonna need RC equipment. Um, RC makes it a little bit higher, so we're gonna probably call this a skill level five kit. Um, you know, just the building alone is probably skill level five. Adding the RC on top of that definitely puts it into the skill level five category. Um, so you are going to need some extra equipment, um, a, a micro brick and a battery and a transmitter. If you're into RC, you probably know what all that stuff is. If not, you can give us a call here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. So until the next time, have a great day.